What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, the Funko Cop. What little mama? Hi. Back on another hunt today, but before I get started, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please do us a big favor. Hit that subscribe button somewhere below. And if you're not new to the channel, of course, as always, welcome back. So, I want to help, help out the homie Trail Collects. He hit me up today and told me that the Hot Topic, our Hot Topic has the One Piece Pops. Yeah, I forget what show. One Piece Pops. And he's stuck at work, as always. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm the Funko Cop. Little Mama. You have to wait. I'm the Funko Cop with Little Mama. 1041. 1041. So here comes some pops that they got in. I don't know if they had these in last time. We have wet fire. I know that was in some hard stacks. Famous pops. And we stopped on Pringles. That's new. I don't know. If that was the last time you see it. Pride, Stormtrooper, Mickey Mouse and Friends, Tasty Peach, more Marvel stuff. What is that? Ryan. I'll see. Let's see if we can find these pops. I think they're over here. Yep, they have. I should grab one for my damn self. <clears throat> I don't know. So let me message Trail and let him know what they have. Second of Charles pop section. Got a pretty decent amount of pops. They have another Dilbert. Ten bucks. Might pick this up. Take this out and put it on my desk at work. Since the other one is sealed and in a hard stack. What else they have? Sydney Dean. Emotep. Oh, Emotep look dope. Oh, snap. Let me hit up trail. Let them know that they got this one. The common. I'm going to look alright. To be honest with you. Evelyn. Rick. What else do they have here? Some used ones. But for the new pops, I had to still need to get Kelly Kapoor. I think. I think. Let me hit up Trail and see what he said. Let's go. And 
Yeah, we're back. Appreciate y'all going on a hunt with us today. Went to a couple different stores. Second of Charles, Hot Topic, all that for trail. Um, while at Hot Topic, I did see the new One Piece pops he was looking for, so I was able to snag those, hook the homie up with that. And then I went to Second of Charles, went to Hobby Town, and I went to Second of Charles. And at Second of Charles, they had the common Luffy, whatever the new Luffy pop is. And shipping fee, I told Trail to go ahead and scoop me up another Dilbert. So we picked up a Dilbert so I could have it on my desk at work right beside my desk calendar. Like I said in my last video, Dilbert is one of my favorite cartoons. Pop that I wanted so bad. Funko to make, they finally made it. And I was able to get one from Bella's Books and get one out of box from Second of Charles. So this is pretty dope. Um, probably like that, right? Looking sideways. But, Second Charles, they had some pretty good pops. I know that they had, uh, the Emotep pop and I think Rick. Then I see Evelyn from The Mummy. I always wanted The Mummy pops to come out as well. Didn't pick those up. Probably pick those up in the future, though. Maybe on a hot cash deal or a box lunch money. Um, while at Second of Charles, I did pick up Book 11, The Gundam Thunderbolts. So, slowly reading this, catching up on just the anime series in general. Um, Iron Blood, I'm almost done with. I'm watching Gundam 00 and re-watching Gundam Wing as I like sit back and build some of these kits. So, that's fun. That's dope. If y'all haven't got a chance to watch Thunderbolts, give it a shot. The first movie's great. The second movie's eh. But the first movie's fantastic. The first movie's fantastic. So, watch Gundam Thunderbolts. Next, a couple of packages from Amazon. One, this was sitting outside in a soaking rain. Like, I lift the box up, and it fell right out of the box. And I picked up this brick wall set by Tamashi Nation. So this is, like, SH Fig Arts brick wall for diodes and stuff like that. Take pictures. This was on sale on their website during, like, a, I don't know, like a flash sale, weekend sale, summer con sale or something like that for $18 plus shipping and then I went on Amazon and it was on Amazon for $22 free shipping sold by Bandai or Bluefin so pick this up from them as well take some dope shots some like alley looking shots the homie geeky fresh shout out to him told me about something else on Big Bad Toy Store I might look out and get in the future it's like 50 bucks but it's like a, a pretty dope street set but yeah they have a gray one as well. I don't know if I'm going to pick up a gray one. I'm going to see what shots I can get out of this, though. Next, <clears throat> Next up, digging another package from Amazon. Excited to see this because... Oh. The homie Geeky Fresh has been killing these pictures on Instagram. We picked up, uh, this was also sitting in the rain too. But we picked up Riri Williams, Ironheart. So we picked up Ironheart off Amazon. Enjoy Riri Williams. I read the first series when she got into Champions as well. When, um, I think she was also in Secret Wars. Not the series, but Armor War, Secret Wars edition. Because I think she's, in that series, she was Rhodey's niece. But, like I said, the homie Geeky Fresh has been taking some crazy photos. My paint apps look pretty decent. I do see like a, a nub mark on the inside of her elbow right there. But that's just me being picky. Other than that, from this wave, Modular Iron Man, I'll probably want to pick up and Ultron. So, that's the rest of the wave. Let me know in the comments below if y'all seen this wave in stores and if y'all have, which did y'all pick up? Are y'all planning on picking up Ironheart Riri Williams? Here's a, I don't know if y'all can see it. But it's like a little synopsis about her. First appearance was Invincible Iron Man, issue number four. I've collected that series all the way to like issue 12 I think that was the last set and 
think issue four was her first appearance. The one with uh, him and Mary Jane on the cover. So, Riri Williams in a new Marvel Legends set. Next up, got a package or mail from the homie Samaj the Disciple. Shout out to you, homie. I appreciate this. I've been seeing people post these. I want to reach out to you and ask you about a set. But, lo and behold, you already sent one out to the boy. So, I appreciate it. Thank you. He says, what's up, Aunt? Here's some new stickers of mine that I hope will one day make it onto your box. I appreciate it. This is going straight on the box, man. I'm posting this right on the box. These are dope. So, we have... That's a Naruto character, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, don't get me wrong. I want to say One Piece because I think that's the homie Ace. I'm pretty sure. If I'm not, Trell will fix it in the comments below. I know this is Naruto, though. A Naruto character, not Naruto. Never watched Naruto. And then we got... This is... And it, I think the last two were hollow. So... You can see like the glimmer off of that. It's pretty dope. Appreciate it, bro. One's going to go. This one is probably going to go on the. One of the, the one of the hollows is going to go on the um box. One of the or one of the commons is going to go right here on the build desk. So probably this is going to go on the build desk. Appreciate it again. Shout out to the homie again, Samaj the Disciple. Um, post dope pictures. Not always just anime and. Funko and kicks as one of his last posts, but appreciate it again, homie. Two more things, and we wrap this up. Next thing, one thing I had to get from USA Gundam. Let's say USA. Gundam. I've been I'm not gonna say kind of on a hunt for these, but got another Toggy sticker. This package was packaged by Sean from USA Gundam. And we picked up Ultraman Suit 7 SH Fig Arts. I remember seeing these in uh, Hobby Town. To me, the pictures didn't look all that great. They were okay. Like, like the back of this didn't look like it did it justice. But dabbling in the photo photography, dabbing into like uh more figures and stuff like that the kits do this well the ultraman kits like this one right here is an ultraman kit of ultraman suit 7 this one's a great figure but the one i have in the normal colorway that's this colorway it has no ab crunch because there's an led unit inside to light up the mask or the visor so Posing really isn't all that great. I mean, it's just a stiff body up top. And I wanted to get some dope poses, so I picked this up off of USA Gundam. This was on sale. So, and yeah, this is to me, this is pretty dope. Got some more. Got one more coming in the mail. And I can't wait for that one. So, shout out to the people at USA Gundam. Last package, I picked up another base. From the homie the plastic pusher shout out to him again i showed him on my last video and he sent some goodies my way on top of the two stands i ordered and he re-up on one of the stands and he had a new one of this and i've been watching a series like i just said and i have the kit so from him i picked up this acrylic base stand right here so when I when I get the chance to build the Barbados Master Grade, I want to put it right on this. And you got Orga and Mikazuki, and then the Barbados. It's, it's just lays flat like that. And I'm gonna put Barbados right up here. Probably put him on his like knees, how he is in the show. But this is sick. This is sick. Go hit him up for all my Gundam people. He does dope work. Um, has dope bases. I'm going to definitely pick up some more from him. I already told him. He already showed me what else he has coming in. So I'm definitely going to pick up some more from him down the line. But I, like when I get these, I just like this. wants me to get in there and start building Barbados. But yeah, that's pretty much it. 
dope haul. Um, by the time y'all watching this, me and Little Mama are going to be at Galaxy Con, so excited for that. Um, we're going to try to meet up with maybe Chris Sabat. I don't know yet. Um, definitely probably going to meet up with Jason David Frank, a.k.a. the Green Ranger, a.k.a. Tommy off of the Power Rangers. I need his autograph and his signature on one of my books, the helmet covers, and be close to finishing that set. All I need after that would be the Blue Ranger, the original Blue Ranger. And I'll have all the original Power Ranger signatures. So he's been elusive. I can't find him at any con, and he luckily popped up. It was like Destiny because when I bought the tickets for this con, he wasn't on the guest list and then later on i got the email saying he will be on the guest list so i was extremely hyped <sighs> but we're gonna have a good time like i said by the time y'all watching this we already there we already joined it. it's gonna be next week's video so stay tuned for that i appreciate y'all watching this one don't forget like share comment subscribe i'm the funko cop 1042